Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. As most of you know, there was a press release in the beginning of this week and it said that Helium is going to enter the 5G arena. Of course, this is good news, but I can imagine some of you are thinking, oh no, should I cancel my current order of my hotspot or should I wait with ordering one? Well, in this video, we are going to look for an answer to these questions. If you like the sound of that, be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe at the end of the video. So this is the Medium post that I put out. I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. So episode two, path to 5G. So diving into the Medium post, we see that on April 14th, the Helium community voted to pass HIP27, which effectively paves the way for the Helium network to become the first consumer-owned 5G network in the world. Helium 5G will be the second major wireless network that the Helium network supports. If you have a phone that supports 5G, such as an iPhone, Samsung Galaxy and so forth, you will soon be able to connect through hotspots that are powered by the people. So yeah, that sounds definitely very good. So the first partner that they're going to use is FreedomFi. So FreedomFi makes open source 5G devices. So again, this is the same situation as with the hotspots that we have. We have a community, we have manufacturers of hardware. For example, we have Rack. Rack already had IoT devices. Then they sat down with the guys from the Helium network and they said, okay, what can we do to bring these two worlds together? And then they made the right software so that the uh, Rack devices can actually work and communicate on the Helium network. So we have the exact same situation here. We have FreedomFi, they are already making 5G devices. And then they got together with Helium and said, hey, can we do something together? Can we combine the power of the Helium network and our great 5G hardware? And I think it is very important that you let this sink in. So Helium provides an infrastructure which is now focused on IoT devices, but in general it has a system, it has the proof of coverage system, so it has a way to incentivize people to build a telecom network, whether it is for IoT devices, whether it is for telephones and so forth. So this will be a very interesting step and to show that the Helium network can be used for more than just IoT. Maybe it can be used to build a telecom network or become a telecom operator. So basically, it would be really nice to see if we as a community embrace this technology and find a way to become a telecom operator for the people by the people with our own decentralized network. So in this case, we are working with a proof of concept. We are more or less following the plan that FreedomFi has because they are the first partner. So looking at the website of FreedomFi, we see open software, commodity hardware, cloud native architecture, and we see run private cellular network on your terms. Of course, if you combine this technology with the Helium network, then suddenly you don't have a private network, but you have a very public international network. We then take a look at the page specifically for HNT. We see FreedomFi gateways will soon become compatible with the Helium blockchain, making it possible for hosts to earn HNT cryptocurrency by offloading carrier cellular networks using 5G. So as you can see right now, the goal and the system that FreedomFi is providing, um, they're actually working with telecom operators and offering them a way on peak moments to offload um, the traffic from their network. And then they'll share some of the rewards, of course, with you. Right now, the testing project is only available in the US. So if you don't live in the US, you shouldn't bother with trying to join the waitlist. If you are in the US, you can try and join the waitlist. Now, before you jump into that waitlist, keep in mind the 5G setup cost will be between $1,000 and $5,000, depending on how powerful the 5G radio included with the system will be. And of course, the more powerful, the more data you can offload and probably the more rewards you will get. So moving down, we see again a confirmation that it only starts in the US. The reason probably is because there is an open frequency band free to use in the US. So that is really great news. Um, I don't think this will be the same in the rest of the world. I can imagine that a lot of countries are really waiting and excited to sell their frequency band for 5G to the telecom operators. So if that would be the case, that means that we are in a little bit of a pickle if we wanna copy the same concept to different regions. However, we as a community, we can, of course, be creative. 
For example, if you have to buy a frequency band in a certain region, then you as a community can, for example, make a fund and then everybody in the Helium community can contribute to this fund and make it possible to buy this frequency band and then start using the Helium network within this frequency band and therefore creating a local telecom operator. I think that would be really amazing to see a completely decentralized telecom operator. But hey, that's just me. So this brings us to the question, should I cancel my order at Nebra, Rag, Bobcat or whatever you have an order or should I cancel my plans to order a hotspot right now? Um, well, no. As you've seen, there is first a test project for 5G in, the, uh, in some of the US cities. Um, it doesn't mean it will be rolled out completely. This is first a testing phase. Second of all, it is a much bigger investment. Third, it is very specific right now what Freedom Fi wants to do, and it all depends on which partners they're going to get for the 5G network. Um, then again, if you're international, you won't have access to it right away. And then last but not least, 5G is a different application. It's that simple. If you choose for IoT and you believe in smart cities, I can assure you, not every sensor will work on 5G. 5G is more expensive, the hardware is more expensive, it's more expensive to use, you have to put in a SIM card, it uses a lot more power. So 5G is not for every device. If you want to have a leak sensor, for example, you want it to be cheap, you don't want to change the battery every five days or whatever, um, because with IoT you can put a battery in a low powered sensor and you can leave it in there for five years. So it's really low maintenance. So you can imagine that IoT and, uh, and LoRa 1 still have that application. It's not because 5G is so much better in some ways that it's going to be used for everything. So personally, I'm not worried about it. And there is one more thing that I really enjoyed seeing in the blog post, and that is this little line. So we also expect to see modification kits that will allow hosts to support 5G applications with their existing HNT mining hotspots. So yes, you heard it right. There is a big chance that some of the providers, either be Bobcat, Calchip, uh, Nebra, or whoever is out there, that they will provide upgrading kits for their miners so you can also support the 5G network. So rather than being worried, I'm actually super excited because the more the Helium network is being used, either by people who are using, uh, who are using 5G or people who are using IoT devices and the LoRa 1 network, it doesn't matter. The more the network is being used, the more HNT tokens that will be burned and the more deflationary the token will be and the higher the price will rise. And again, the more the network will be used, the more valuable the network will be. So it doesn't matter if you are supporting the LoRa 1 network or if you're supporting the 5G network or whatever network that we will have in the future, it is all good for everyone participating in the Helium network right now. All right, that's it for this video. I hope I was able to reassure some of you, so please don't be worried. It is actually really good news that we are going to see another application of the Helium blockchain. If you got any questions left, do not hesitate to post a comment. I always reply. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. I also want to give a little warning. I've noticed there are a lot of um, fake spam bots replying to the comments, asking you and pretending to be me and asking to contact them on WhatsApp. I will never do that. If you want to contact me, just use the about section, uh, contact me on Twitter or use the email in the about section. And then last but not least, if you're going to order a miner, I've heard some stories that again, like with MetaMask and other projects, that scammers are even paying for ads, making fake URLs and so forth. So if you are ordering a miner, please be careful. For example, if you want to order a Bobcat miner, it is bobcatminer.com. It is not .net, .org or whatever they're making up. Uh, it is also not Bobcat Miner 300 and so forth. So please double check everything. This is just a basic thing that you should do in, in crypto. The more popular it gets, the more scammers you will see. So be careful out there and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.